Did you know that nearly 40% of preschool children screened in Santa Barbara County have tooth decay? That's one important reason for the Children's Oral Health Summit, the first ever featuring dental providers, public officials, and Children's Oral Health Collaborative members. I'm Dominique Blocker, and County Television was there. We're having an oral health summit to address the issues of identification of children with oral health needs and how to access care for them. This whole issue of uh, children's oral health is so important and this is an opportunity to bring so many stakeholders together, folks who are in the field doing the work, the dentists who are doing the work, and educators and parents and and social workers. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of folks who are here that are interested and want to do something to enhance the oral health of, of children. It's very important because oral health is not just a simple medical problem or dental problem, it's a public health problem. And as with most public health issues, you need a huge group of people from the Board of Supervisors, the political people, down to the parents, and all through the various people who serve children in order to adequately address it. We have tighter budgets both on the local and state level and so what, what the summit is also doing is bringing together innovative ideas of how we can reach out and educate families to prevent this very serious problem. Oral health is health. Health, it is one part of the entire health of the child. You cannot separate out their dental needs from their medical needs, from their mental health needs and developmental needs. They're all part of a package. It definitely impacts the child's general well-being. If you're in pain, you don't feel good, you don't behave well. So it affects the child's function in the home. It also affects the child's function in school or anywhere outside of the home. If you're sick or if you're feeling terrible, you're not going to perform well or perform up to your potential. Uh, so we need to treat these uh, dental problems the same way we would treat any disease, and that is fix it and cure it or prevent it so that it doesn't impair the child's growth and development. Part of the reason for being here is to make sure that people are aware of what services are available, what people can do for prevention. It's really an educational seminar. We're working with all our partners, everybody that's here today, to try to make sure that people are aware of it, not only the people who provide health services, but parents also. And then within our various public health programs, we support direct preventive services out into the community, and in our clinics we provide identification and treatment services when we can. Anytime you can bring groups together so they can hear of best practices and collaborate, um, that's one of the things that Supervisor Carball Hall and I have done is to bring together within our county different groups to hear some of the best practices, to hear what other groups are doing, and so that services aren't duplicated, but so that also some can be enhanced. This is an effort that requires the cooperation and collaboration of not just the providers who are here today, but all the parents of children too. This is a mutual effort to solve this problem. I'm very happy to be here, and boy, you can see this turnout is fantastic. It's one thing about this community, we have a lot of people who care about our children. For more information about children's health, visit the county's public health website, svcphd.org. Thanks for watching County Television, your channel for county news and information.